Globe trotters around the world. Let's set up for an adventure. It's time for geographical journeys with grammar solvers. Our electricity comes from different power plants. They can use coal, natural gas, or oil to generate electricity. Some plants use nuclear power. There are also natural sources of power like dams, hydroelectric plants, solar farms and wind turbines. The plants use these power sources to turn a generator which has huge magnets and wire coils inside. The magnets begin moving, generating currents of electricity in the wire. Usually, power plants have several generators running at the same time which can produce a lot of power. The power is transmitted at high voltage and then distributed at low voltage so that we can use it in our homes. Transformers are used to raise the voltage which allows for more efficient transmission to substations miles away or into a network that connects other power companies so that electricity can be shared efficiently. Higher voltages are dangerous, so power companies put wires up high on pylons so that they can get the electricity to a substation. There, it can be converted for distribution to our homes. Once converted, electricity travels along overhead on electricity poles or underground. The electricity supply cable enters your home through a meter, which records how much electricity you are using Finally, your domestic wiring distributes electricity to lights and sockets throughout your home. Many people do not recognise equipment on the electricity network. For example, a common misunderstanding is that cables on wooden poles are telephone wires, but often they are electricity power lines. Remember to click the subscribe button and visit grammasaurus.co.uk for teaching resources to accompany this video.